Back to the midterm market. I've got Cindy joining us, and you're kind of one of the operators of this program. I've got a rain joke for you. Yeah. You a rain joke? We talked about rain jokes. Absolutely. I would love a rain joke. Why does Snoop Dogg need an umbrella? I know it's a, you know? I know the answer. You don't know the answer. I do. What is it? Faux drizzle. Faux drizzle. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. We did rehearse that a little bit. <laughs> You've rated out here at the Minter Market today. It's a little different scene. Typically, all summer long, it's been just a wall of people from day from the time you open up. And I think we'll see people here in a little bit. And they're just waiting for the rain to settle, which it's supposed to. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We uh, we have been very fortunate thus far this summer with having these beautiful sunny days pretty much every week. So um, we do need the rain, though, so we won't complain. Yeah, but, uh, but it is a little rainy here this morning, but hopefully clearing up. And uh, we are here. So um, despite the rain, um, most of our vendors are here. And we've got musicians. And so we, we're still running at the market today, all day today. Um, 9 to 2, hopefully the weather does clear up. Up. And uh, we are still here every Saturday for, uh, we have three more markets. Um, so we're here through September 8th. So um, three more markets after today. And um, and then we have one more, um, in addition to the market, we have one more Thursday concert. Um, next Thursday, the okay. 23rd, is our last summer concert of the season. So you're definitely going to want to catch that next Thursday at Little Beach Park from 6 to 8. And are they still doing the Blue Starlight? Are they wrapping up or they have a few more? They more? actually did extend through the fall. So the okay. drive-in movies for Blue Starlight, they're doing um, just Saturdays now through the fall. But they are actually doing, um, the schedule is posted online, um, either on, at Blue Starlight or on our website. You can go to the uh, org website and find the links there. Okay. And they are doing, I think, most every Saturday through October. So they added quite a few movies. So definitely catch those as well. Um, and then we'll announce some fall events um, coming up later. We'll have our Halloween event coming up. It's so weird to start thinking about that already. And uh, and then we also are um, going to be adding um, dates for our winter market. So we are planning to do a winter market again this year. We've okay. done it for several years running. And we're just trying to finalize those dates. So stay tuned. Um, by next week, I'll probably be able to tell you those definite dates. Um, but we're looking to do two weekends in uh, December for our winter market. And that's all as a big hit as well. I remember last week we were here, we went down to the end and there was some people hanging from the sheets. They were <laughs> hanging from those drapes and the silk. They were. Um, that's not going to be happening today, or is it? Not today, no. They okay. will be back for one more do date. Have, do you have a demonstration? Anybody, dem remember how like, you try, you bring someone in every once in a while for a um, Correct. Sort? Not um, any, well, they're scheduled back on September okay. 1st. Okay. And then next year, we're going to try to incorporate more of that as well. Just really trying to incorporate our local businesses into the market scene. Um, some of our stores already participate by having a booth here. And some of our other stores just certainly have the doors open during the yeah. market. And so we really appreciate how our local businesses really embrace the market and and all having all these people coming through town it's really great and um, we all work together to try to keep people obviously flowing through the market but obviously visiting our local shops and restaurants at the same time that's great information I think it's good for people to know too that it's not we're not just a farmers market here in Minturn this is an artisan market one of the oldest markets in Colorado love it it is um, the longest running market in well definitely the longest running in the valley and definitely as you said not just a farmers market you can certainly get produce and and food and things like that here but so many other things from items for your dog things for the kids right. gifts art clothing jewelry pretty much anything that you might need Cindy thank you thank you for drizzle, she says. That's what the umbrella's for. For drizzle. Ashley's got to look at that weather forecast. She's going to let you know if you're going to need that umbrella for drizzle coming up next.